Do you want the best sparkling water at home? Should you choose the SodaStream Terra or the SodaStream Art? Stay tuned as I break down the pros and cons of each to help make the perfect choice for your fizzy needs. Today we'll dive deep into the features, benefits, and downsides of these two popular, cheaper SodaStream models. By the end, you'll know which fits your kitchen best. First, let's talk about design. This is the major difference between these two carbonators. The SodaStream Art boasts a sleek and modern look. It's heavier and perfect for everyday use. It does have a slightly bigger footprint than the Terra, but both will fit easily in most kitchens. The Terra, the Terra leaves a lot to be desired on the aesthetics front. It does have a smaller footprint than the Art, but the bland, overly plastic look and feel really reinforces that this is the cheapest we could absolutely make this thing. So why does design matter? One, you don't want a bulky machine clutter in your countertop or an outdated look ruining your kitchen's aesthetic. The choice of design affects not only your kitchen's appearance, but also how you feel using the device. And if you're like me, you're gonna use this soda maker multiple times per day you want to feel good when you're doing it. Let's move on to functionality. That's the next major difference. Look, both of these are easy to use. They both carbonate at the same rate and power. The mechanism to start carbonation is the big difference. The Art has a manual lever. It really gives you like ARC-3 carbonator vibes. You pull this down to carbonate. The Terra has a button on top of the device here that you depress to start the bubbly. Let me show you an example. So on the art, you do your carbonation with the lever. Doing short one second pulls. Similar but different on the Terra. You're doing, you know, one short one second depressions. Well, we can leave, leave those there, I guess. Next, let's talk about the ease of use and maintenance. The Terra's snap-in bottle insertion makes it incredibly easy to use. Simply snap the bottle into place and carbonate. This is identical to the art. And this method of bottle insertion has really grown on me versus screwing in a bottle. I think it's quicker and I've never noticed a loss of CO2 and I've done measurements. Now one downside to the art is its stability when carbonating. When you're filling, a lot of the weight is up here in the front of the machine, especially when you have a full bottle like this. And when you're pulling the bottle, sometimes it feels like the machine's gonna tip to the front. And so I find myself holding the back while I'm carbonating. On the Terra, you don't have that problem because you're pressing down, down on the button as you carbonate. And there's really no stability issues with this method. Both machines really nail the carbonation process. Now, a more user-friendly model can save you time and effort and just makes your sparkling water experience more enjoyable. Both these machines carbonate great. Now let's discuss the cost. The Terra is generally more affordable. You can usually find it running 10 to $20 cheaper than the Art. Makes it an excellent choice if you're on a budget. The Art, while slightly more expensive, I think justifies its price with a much better design. So consider what's more important to you, affordability, or aesthetic. So weight is another factor to consider. The Terra is lighter at about 1290 grams. It does make it feel cheaper, I will say. Pushing down to carbonate though, you don't run into any stability issues just pressing straight through with this machine. The Art at around 1780 grams is significantly heavier. It does give it a less of a cheap feeling, though it's all plastic as well. I mean, it's just plastic all the way down here. The Art does have a significant advantage if you plan to connect a larger CO2 tank, which I would highly recommend doing. Check out my video on that here. It features a hole in the back that you can use to loop your tube in through. That way you can keep a nice clean line. So you have an adapter that goes here and then you can have the tube come out here and then go into your larger CO2 tank. Now, both of these machines have spaces at the bottom where you can loop a tube through if you wanna go out the bottom. I do like that the Art has this hole here versus you would have to drill a hole in the Terra to achieve the same out of the back. Let's summarize the pros and the cons. Now, the Terra is more stable when you're pressing down to carbonate, has a smaller footprint, and is slightly more affordable, but it feels and looks more cheap compared to the Art. I think the art wins in aesthetics and it offers the ability to directly connect 
to a larger bottle easier. It can be a little unstable at times, it does way more, and it's slightly more expensive. These differences are pretty minor overall, but again, if you're a sparkling water fiend like me, this is a machine you're gonna live with daily for a long time. So it's essential to choose the model that best aligns with your priorities. If you're looking for a great design, still at a very affordable price point, I think the SodaStream Art is your best bet. You can't go wrong with either in terms of cost in the long run. If you're doing a direct connection from a larger tank or you're refilling your own cylinders, both are gonna be a great value, but I do think the art is just the better machine. Thanks for watching. Make sure to watch the next video on how to connect both of these devices to a larger CO2 tank and save hundreds of dollars per year. Thanks for watching my fizzy friends and happy carbonating.